Hey everybody, it's Greg back to here. In this video, we're gonna have a closer look at the small rig mini follow focus, the 310B. Now the 310B comes with this little carrying case here, which makes it handy for transport. Anyway, let's get right into it. So let's talk about the components that it comes with. It comes with a NATO rail. This would attach to your camera's cage. It also comes with the 15 mil rod. It comes with this component here that's adjustable. And then it also comes with the little rubber strap. So if you're using this with photo lenses, not cine lenses, you just wrap that around any lens. Now also you can get follow focus rings that go on each lens, but if you're not sure what size, this will work in a pinch. I'm using it here, you just put it around the lens, strap it on, and it works perfectly. Now what this allows you to do is to have a little more fine control of your focus. This comes with adjustable stops. So for example, if you're focusing from a person to an object and back to the person, you could work that out beforehand with your stops and that will make it a lot easier. Also with this white ring here, you can put focus marks as well. So if you want to do that, either or would work perfectly. But it does give you a little more finer control. Now you can mount this different ways. I've got it mounted on the side. You can also mount it on the top or you can also mount it on the right-hand side, depending if you're left-handed or right-handed. So it's very versatile as far as how you can mount this. Now let's have a look at this on a different camera. All right, so now you can see I have a different setup here. I have the Sony a7S III, and I have a tilted cage, which is the half cage. And you can see how you use the NATO rail to mount to the half cage. And I'm using a shorter lens. So this is a 25 mil, much shorter. We have a tighter situation here. Depending on the length of your lens, let's say you have a zoom lens like 70 to 200, this rod may not be long enough, so you may have to get a bigger rod, depending on the length of your lens. But for most photo lenses uh, that are telephoto, this should work perfectly fine. And you can see you have a couple of different points here for adjustment. You have this point here, and you have this point here, and then you have the rod tightening mechanism. So how it works is you just loosen this, and then you can pivot this piece here. Now, depending on how you have this set up, you may not be able to pivot. Let's say you wanted to have it perfectly sideways, but then the problem I find with this is you can't tighten the mechanism. So it's one of those things where you have to kind of work around that. If you can see that right here, I don't know, just have a look. Depending on where that is, you won't get full rotation because the housing blocks it. So that's one drawback, I guess. You can't put it in the ideal position sideways, say, for example, like this. You have to kind of work with the situation so that you can get full rotation to tighten it. See how I can tighten it now, and it's more on a 45 and up. I guess that's one drawback to this. It's going to differ depending on your camera, your cage, the lens you use. Every configuration is going to be slightly different. Just something to keep in mind that uh, you may encounter not being able to put it in the exact position that you want it in. But if that doesn't bother you, then it's not a big deal. But at this price point, it works perfectly. Uh, you just have to work around the limitations of it. And I think it's a really good value. And if you really need that added manual focus with the hard stops, or if you want to mark the stops, when you get a little more serious into filmmaking and you're using manual focus lenses, then definitely you want to have some hard stops that you can hit or at least some marks so the actors are on their marks that you want to hit. So definitely this is something that will come in handy. And at this price point, you really can't lose. I mean, for the price, it's uh, solidly built and it works. And also, like I said, it comes with the adjustable strap, so you can use it right out of the box. But also they sell focus rings that fit your lens different sizes. They're not that expensive. So if you wanted something a little bit more solid for your lens, you can also purchase those separately. Also too, they have another gear that you can purchase for this. Not sure what that other gear is for, maybe finer control, but that's also an optional piece that you can use with this. Anyway, if you have any comments or questions, you can post them down below. If you found any of these tips helpful, just hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, I come out with new videos every week. Just hit that subscribe button and be notified when my next video goes live. Anyway, it's great back to here, and thanks for watching this video.